maybe it maybe it's a hundred people here now because we had a gentleman that was 108 years old. He was 15 years old when he came to Grayson. And um, he was 108 years old when he died. And he used to tell us different things. Because uh, when he came here, Grayson was already a community, a thriving community. Like I said, we had our post office, Cotton Gin, Teen Town. Uh, we had a lodge. We had an ice cream parlor. We had four stores. Um, five churches. A lot of all these uh, uh, buildings are no longer in existence. And I've been trying to find uh, pictures, and there's no pictures at all of anything to document any of this. Pretty soon, if uh, something don't happen, uh, when all these pensioners die, such as myself and several more people that are here on pension, when we out of the way, well, what will happen? About the history. Uh, history will gradually go to pot. I mean, you won't have no more history. No more people, no more history. Nobody in to tell the story. And so, I am the only physical presence, the last standing. I've survived long enough to tell you this story. And although my eyes blindly look toward the prairie, and although my mouth is shuttered and silent, my rafters cracked and broken, I am no derelict. I am the protector of the past. Proud to have sheltered these people, to have heard them pray in glorious rapture. To have listened while children's laughter rang loudly on the dirt and playgrounds of the schools. Their ghosts walk my halls. My walls still vibrate with their life stories. I hear their faint voices echoing across the prairie, begging to be remembered. 